Okay, so our next construction, number five, um, is asking us to construct the angle bisector of angle ABC. So you're given an angle um, which is formed out of two rays that have a common endpoint, and your goal is to bisect it, meaning cut it in half. So in the end, we're going to have a ray that extends from B out in this direction, cutting that whole angle ABC in half. Your first step is to put your center on B. And you can open up your radius to whatever um, length you want to. I'm just going to leave it wherever it is here. As long as I can cross both sides of the given angle. So I just created two intersection points, say D and E. My next step is to use point D. Open up my radius just slightly. You could leave it the same, but sometimes that results in error. So you may want to open it up just slightly. We're going to swing what I like to call baby arcs out here. So we swung a smiley arc, now we're swinging a baby arc. Baby arc just because it's small. Then I'm putting my center on E. This time I'm not going to change the radius. I'm going to keep it exactly the same as what I just used over on point D. And I'm swinging that baby arc again. You should get them in an intersect, intersect here. And I'll call this then my last and final step is to actually draw that bisector in. Just like you have to draw the perpendicular bisector in, here you have to draw the angle bisector in. So now there's a, a very important conclusion that we can make from this construction. And it's that angle A, B, F is congruent to, we'll use two arcs here, is congruent to angle C, B, F. And we'll write that out. Angle A, B, F is congruent to angle CBF. Because again, an angle bisector divides an angle into two congruent angles.